So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this double-sided crisscross bracelet. This is my own design. I made it up uh, recently. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this rainbow one, but with uh, a white background. Because you see here it's the black. You can wear it on this side, but I recommend wearing it on this side. I would also recommend using clear bands because you probably want to see the rainbow up the middle. So the supplies you're going to need today will be one loom in the staggered configuration. You're, here, I'll just move this over here. You're going to need some bands. You're going to need 40 clear, 24 of whatever rainbow colors you want, and 24 of the triangle or the white colors. Now you're also going to need a C-clip and um, cut hooks. You can use any kind of hook you want. So to start, you're going to want the arrows pointing away from you. <coughs> Sorry. You're going to want the arrows pointing away from you, and you're going to take a single band. I just pick up like a couple of them at a time because it's easier. You're going to take a single band and go out to the left. You're going to take another band and go out to the right. So then you're going to just go up your loom, and you're going to create a simple border. I don't know what's up with my voice today. It's not working. Probably can't see that, but let's just keep going up our border. I don't really think I'm going to skip or fast forward. I just don't really like video editing for four hours. Um, so if you're a speedy loomer, you can just skip ahead and uh, just catch up. Or if you're not going so fast, you can just catch up later. If you're a speedy loomer, you can skip ahead, but after we place this uh, simple border, we're going to need to place something else with their clear bands, so. And last one, I forgot to say on the other side, you just go into the center. It's usually what we do for a staggered configuration so I'm just going to push my bands down really quick because they're like higher up and I do need to be placing other bands um, around so I'll just push them down okay now we're going to take our clear again and we're just going to go up the center with one band single bands up the center we do need to place these bands up the center because we need to hold in some of our bands, otherwise it would not be a bracelet, it would be a pile of bands. So, Just going to keep going up the center, I know you probably can't see that because I'm bad at filming, but I'm pretty sure you have the gist of it, you just go from pin to pin, keep knocking my camera. Alright, so then when you reach the top peg, you can just push these bands down and start placing a rainbow. So you're going to want to take the first um, two colors of your rainbow. You're going to use double bands for this thing, this whole thing, sorry. Um, so you're going to take two bands, and where the first two, the first on the left and the first on the right, wherever the two are, um, the, whether, wherever they're horizontal, you're just going to twist into a figure eight, like that, so you can have an X right here. Then you're going to want to take your hook. You're actually going to want to take your hook and take this, so you see this top layer, and you're going to see this bottom layer. And what you're going to want to do is take the top layer and pull it, <coughs> sorry, pull the top layer over the top, and the bottom layer over the bottom. So you'll have a cross here, but you won't have one here. So you're going to want to kind of take that off the pin and then cross it. You're going to have a cross here and a cross here, but you are not going to cross them here. You're just going to leave those. So push your bands down and you should have a cross and a cross. Then you're going to take your next color where the next two pins are horizontal which should be the second and the second on both sides. You're going to take it and twist it into a figure eight, 
just like you would on an infinity bracelet or a, a taffy twist bracelet and pull the top over to the top pin pull the bottom over to the bottom pin you're going to you're kind of creating a diamond shape but you're just twisting the ends so again you're going to twist that end oops pushing down the wrong pin okay so you're just going to do this all the way up your loom, and yes, it does include these last four. So these last four will be your purple bands if you're doing a rainbow. So I'm just going to continue by placing my bands, and I'm going to go a little bit faster now because um, it's a pretty simple uh, part to do. So I'm just going to place them. And if you still need help, you can uh, rewind the video. Um, also, if you need to catch up, you can pause, or if you're a speedy loomer, which probably most of you are, um, you're going to just skip ahead. And it's really hard to do this behind the camera. It's harder than you think, actually. Oops. And if it just pops off like that, you can just retwist it. As long as the two bands are on the same peg. It shouldn't really matter. The side that you're placing here will make um, this part right here. The side that you're placing will make this part. And next, um, we'll be placing the triangle, which will create this back part but I definitely like this part better. The triangle bands are only there to create kind of a background. If you don't want to put triangle bands, it is not necessary. You can, I just think it looks nice for decoration. So I'm just gonna continue with placing my bands. I know this gets kind of boring because it's just doing the same thing over and over again. And I apologize for not skipping through this, but I am. Um, you're going to need a couple bands for extension. You're not going to need too many. Oops. If you want to make this on two looms, you can make it go all the way around, but you're going to need 88 bands in total. Well, you're going to need 88 bands to create the bracelet that does not count the extension. So, if you're going to create an extension, you're going to need 6 to 10 more. Unless you have the big wrist, then you're going to need... Uh, like 8 to 13, I guess. Oops. Sometimes it gets kind of hard, so if you're using a crochet hook without a deep trench, it might be kind of difficult to do this because you have to be able to hold on to the bands as you twist them. And then you just tr can't, can't take them off the other peg either. Sorry for the bad lighting as well. So then you're just going to place your last two using double bands, as always, for this part at least. And you're just going to, oops, keep doing that. I never did that when I made them before. But once you're done placing those, we're going to go back to the beginning of the loom. So your loom should look like this, just all the way up your loom, okay? Now we're going to go ahead and place our triangle bands. I'm using white. So this part is really simple to place. You just go from this peg, this first left, into the first and second center pegs. So you're making an equilateral triangle with the main, or no, not really equilateral, but isosceles, I guess. And you're gonna make it pointing outwards. So make the point going outwards. And push your bands down. And do the same thing on the right side. It is super important that you do the left and then the right, or right and then the left, doesn't matter. But you have to do the two triangles before you can go on to the next um, placement of triangles. Because if you do, say you go all the way up the left and then all the way up the right, it will not turn into a bracelet that you want. So you just want to place them left then right, or if you do it opposite, you can do right then left but I've always learned left to right, so that's what I'm doing. So this will create kind of a background 
as you may notice, I'm using um, all opaque bands except for the clear. Um, I think opaque looks better because I've created some with like jelly. Like in this one, this one's even a better example. I just don't like the jelly behind the clear as well. Um, so I'm using just opaque bands for it all. But it's totally up to you. It is your bracelet. Yes, it is kind of quiet. So I'll just continue placing these. Whoa, that went into my plant. Yes, I have a plant that's sitting right here. I might have to go, oh, there it is, I found it. Sorry about that. It totally flew in between the leaves of my plant, so I had to go find it. So I may as well just talk instead of being here in awkward silence. Um, um, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will be posting on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram should be down in the description. Hopefully it'll be down in the description. Um, so if you want to just poke me on Instagram for other tutorials, that would be fine. I don't really mind doing tutorials. Anyway. So now that we placed these triangle bands, this is what it should look like. Alright, so now we're going to turn our loom around so that the red arrow up at the top is pointing towards us. We're going to take our clear band and just make a cap band. Oops, cannot see that. I'm going to have to get down lower so you can see this. Um, you're going to take the clear, turn it into a figure eight, and put that figure eight back onto the pin. So you'll create two loops. Cap bands are really simple, so. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is be looping the triangle bands. So you're going to want to go under the cap band, pull it back, and grab that top uh, white, or whatever color you're using. Sorry, I have to get this off before I can. So you have that top point, and you're going to just pull that point out to the side. Going to go back in under the cap band, grab that next white and pull that white out to its far point over here. So then you're going to want to pull these over but you can't do that because you don't have anything to hold it in. So that's what the middle bands are for. You pull back the cap band and the purple, the two purples and you grab that top clear that's sitting right there and that should be the one that goes up the middle. So now that you have a cap band up the middle, you can go in and you're, you might see an X. I don't know if you can see that, but you can see an X right here. So you're going to pull back the clear and grab the right side of that X and pull it out to itself. So now all three points of the triangle should be over here. And you're going to do the same thing with the other side, except the left side should just be floating in here. So you're going to pull that out to itself and push your bands down. All right. Then you're going to go and so you can see that this clear right here, oops, you can see that the clear right here is over this peg. So it creates a capping band for your whites. So you can just pull the whites out and um you might notice it'll look really weird, like right in here. It's supposed to do that. I'm gonna pull back the blue, grab that bottom clear, and pull it up, creating a capping band for your white bands to be pulled out to themselves. And you're going to start seeing this weird kind of arrangement in here. <coughs> Sorry. But don't worry, that's normal. It will totally fix itself once you finish the bracelet and take it off the loom. So I'm going to go a little bit faster now, just so we can get this over with.
I'm sorry if you can't see this very well. My camera is not good. And I've only filmed a few videos, so I'm hoping I can get better at filming as I go. But Make sure you're always pulling up that center band, otherwise um, when you create your triangles they'll be really loose and they won't um, be very good. So. Awkward silences here, yes. Um, I don't really know what to say. Oh, and if your uh, clear band pops off the peg like that, make sure you just pull it back over so that when you loop out this, it still has a cap band. <coughs> I don't know what is up with my voice today, but it's annoying me. So yeah, make sure to um, just tell me if you want more tutorials. Um, I have an Instagram. My Instagram will be posted in the description, like I said earlier. Um, I have made a lot of my own like bracelet designs, and uh, I have made a couple charms, but I haven't really posted very many of them. So comment below if you want more tutorials. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you... Um, want to see more videos like this. Most, most of my bracelets will be one loom. Some of them might be two, but I already have one on Instagram that's two looms, but if you want to make most bracelets on one loom, I will definitely be making those. I like to make bracelets that are pretty simple to make and not like super band consuming but that look you know like cool enough and professional enough to actually have people like them so I think this is a pretty either intermediate or even beginner bracelet to make it's really just simple repetitive looping and placing so I'm almost done so at the top, you pull up the clear and do the same thing just like you would on any other bracelet. You just push those, or well, you pull the white bands over. So now you should have, on the top of your loom, you should have the clear on the top. It's really hard to see, the lighting is bad. You should have the clear on the top, the two red, and my camera is not focusing. So then you should have three more clear bands under the red. So now we're going to go back to the beginning, and we're just going to do a really simple looping. So, you're just going to leave these rainbow bands just floating in there. Um, the clear bands up the middle already attach them to each other, and um, they won't float around or uncurl. But we do need to loop up the border, and that's just really simple. You just loop up the border like you would regularly by pulling the top clear out to the left and the bottom clear out to the right. And I would also recommend using some good bands if you don't use clear because there's going to be a lot of bands um, that you have to pull these through. So if you pull through um, bands and they snap, then that's not good. So I'm just going to do this a little bit faster hopefully. It's just the simple border looping. You go out and then you go all the way up and then you go in. And some of these bands are going to be tight like the rainbow bands. They're probably going to be tighter than the white ones because the uh, rainbow bands are stretched more. I also like the clear because it s slides through super easy and it doesn't break and you can also see all your designs through the clear oops keep hitting my camera that's not good Let's go back to the beginning and do it up the right side 
Now, I doubt very many of you are watching this anymore, but for those of you who are still watching, um, <laughs> thank you for watching my videos, because I know that a lot of people will just look and see how it's placed, look and see how the pattern is looped, and then just stop watching. And, um, to be honest, I do that a lot. Like, especially with Rainbow Looms tutorials, like when they had the diagrams. Um, but thank you for watching if you're still watching. Thank you for watching if you aren't still watching. Well, you won't be able to hear it. <laughs> but I am glad to anyone who watches this and likes this video and anyone that can get my um, bracelets, you know, out there. Um, also, I don't want any more any videos to be remade of this bracelet or any of my bracelets without my permission, because these are, you know, my own designs, and I don't really want other people taking credit for them, even if they say, oh, Expert Looms made this design, you know. Alright, so now I'm just going to use the end of my crochet hook, the non-hook end, I'm just going to pull this off the loom, because... If I try to pull it off from the top, it might break bands. I've had it happen before. So I'm just going to pull this off. And this side is the back side, and this side is the front side with all the rainbows. So you'll be able to see it better when we um, unloop it all. This kind of reminds me of like rainbows in a cloud because of the white and the clear, and then the rainbows like woven in. So, almost there. I'm trying to go kind of fast, but my hook is not cooperating. I'm going to try and upload this video really quick, too, because I've had some requests for it. So, when you get to the top, if you're doing it like I am, I just usually hold this last one so that it doesn't... Um, so none of the bands like pop off. So then I'm going to take my hook, oops, put my hook the wrong way. Take my hook and put it in and push it all the way through under all the bands. Grab my last clear band that I have out. And it's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to pull it through all those bands and hook it back on. Wiggle it off stretch it out. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of hard to see under the camera, but I will be posting a picture of it on Instagram. So if you want to see it, I will have it on Instagram. So this is what it looks like on this side. And then on the other side, it's just the white and the clear, and this kind of bands in the middle. So it kind of looks pretty cool. Um, I'll make the extension for this later. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and give this video a thumbs up button. Just take two seconds to hit the thumbs up button because I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I hope to see you in the future watching more videos. Alright, goodbye.